Proudly We Served is made possible with the support of Premier Toyota of Richmond at 5601 National Road East, Richmond's authorized Toyota new car dealership, online at premiertoyotarichmond.com. And by First Bank Richmond, with eight locations serving Wayne County. First Bank Richmond and you, doing great things together. I'm Al Bledsoe, Veterans of Foreign War, Post 1108. I'm Ron Chappelle, Chaplain of Vietnam Veterans Post 777 and co-host here with Al that proudly we served. My name is Ron Wittick, uh, Commander this year of uh, VFW Kirk Little Post 1108, also the uh, Veterans uh, Parade Chairman this year. I'm Bob Marshall, I'm the President of the Vietnam Veterans of America, Chapter 777. I'm Sandy Wittick, I'm Chief of Staff slash Treasurer of the VFW Auxiliary. I'm Kathy Hankins. I'm the President of 1108 Auxiliary. What's, we got a full house today. We got a full We're house glad today. everybody yeah, showed up today. A lot today. of information so, to get out in this yeah, uh, um, segment here. Kathy, yeah. let's start with you and uh, tell us a little bit about your job and what you do and some of the highlights that's going to be coming down the line here. Uh, well. We work a lot for veterans. Uh, one of the highlights we have coming up the 5th of December, or is that the 7th of December, on Wednesday, we'll have an election for the World War II veterans. Mm -hmm. So we'll be contacting them, and they will be coming in for a free lunch, and we have speakers lined up, so that should be a good day. Well, you know, I'm thinking, now, Generally, people know about the VFWA's existence and all that, and some know about the Vietnam Veterans Association, but the auxiliaries, I don't think people really understand what it is that the auxiliaries do. Want to well, talk about that a little bit? Uh, right now, we're accumulating uh, food and personal items to put in the veterans' Christmas baskets, which we do. We also do one at Memorial Day. Mm -hmm. uh, we help with the buddy poppies. The auxiliary is a pretty active auxiliary. We have almost 400 members. Wow. So it's kind of like a support group for it. To That's what we're there for, to All support right. the post. All right. All right. Bob, tell us about VVA, Vietnam Veterans. Uh, the Vietnam which, Veterans of America is uh, open to anyone who served during the Vietnam era. A lot of people think it's just for guys that were in Vietnam, but that's, that's not true. They do. Um, we, Helped a lot to share with uh, the wall. The memorial committee had their wall in last month. That was we that were really awesome active on that. that um, we every Christmas uh, pass out a meal for uh, for veterans. Uh, we're up to 100, I think, meals a year now. So that that's our our big drive. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, uh, membership seems to be dwindling because. Uh, we're losing a lot of members. Yeah, yes. so, uh, yeah. So, uh, the Vietnam veterans, I think somebody was saying uh, during the mill wall that about 40% of them are gone now. Yeah. The guys that actually survived. So, but that's basically what we do. We have a meeting once a month. But those are the two big things that we do. We do community stuff too, like the community outreach, to Christmas time, the baskets. Yeah, and, we do the Christmas and baskets. And that's, the that's the main thing we do. You guys yeah. help our program a lot. Yeah. Well, I think what uh, Gary said last time uh, when they was on before the wall got here, he had brought up that if they have the wall in five years, uh, there'll probably be a percentage of guys that won't be there. That's kind of a sad commentary, but it's reality. And this, this, so, yeah, they're addressing that. Um, I think they're going to end up doing something like the GAR did, the Grand, or Grand Army of the Republic, mm -hmm. which was an organization for Civil War veterans. Oh. Uh, that morphed into uh, Sons of the Union veterans, so I think I think they're going to try to do something like that. Because you know, let's face it, in another 25, 30 years, we're all going to be gone. Mm. Sure. So, Sandy, tell yeah. us about what you do and and what it takes to be, become a uh, member. 
of the um, auxiliary? A little more than a year ago, uh, they changed the ladies' auxiliary to just the plain auxiliary, which opened it up to men. Uh, the reason behind the thinking in that was because there's so many women veterans yes. now mm -hmm. and their husbands were kind of left out of the, the mix. Mm -hmm. um, so requirements to join the auxiliary now is uh, you need to be a direct line, either a spouse or you can join underneath your father, mother, grandmother, or grandfather, son or daughter, grandson or granddaughter or brother and sister um, so it's it's a straight line um, this year since we've opened it up we've uh, got several good members gentlemen that didn't qualify before to qualify you need to join underneath a veteran that served in a conflict mm -hmm. we need the DD 214 uh, which shows the uh, conflict they served in and the medal or accommodations that they received okay. because for our qualifications mm -hmm. it specifically states what's required. Well, so. the, the club, club grows in, in age and, and the membership uh, grows in age. Certainly the younger uh, men and women are, are attracted to the club. I think that they need help. Well, so um, that means that my son or daughter or grandchild could be a member. That's correct. Yep. Okay. So, so the focus would be to encourage them to, to want to be yep. part of it, to get involved. Yeah. Okay. Ron, it's yeah. good to have you here today. Thank you. You're always there when somebody needs some help <laughs> and we really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to to come and join us today. So um, tell us a little bit about Commander of the VFW, but um, we also want to get into this parade thing a little bit and make sure that we've talked about that enough that people will know when it is and the times and what all's involved there. Okay. Uh, yes, I'm uh, this year, uh, it's my uh, second time as uh, Commander of VFW Post 1108. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm basically just there to make sure that all the rules and uh, uh, bylaws are followed. We have a uh, house committee to run the, the club and we have uh, an entertainment committee to take care of those items and I just uh, I'm kind of the overseer if you will of, of the post make sure everything's going the way it should. Um, we have uh, a lot of really good officers this mm -hmm. year and everybody's uh, really participating uh, like Sandy said, they're they're gaining on us in membership. So uh, we've lost, of course, all the World War One veterans are gone. The World War Two veterans, we have a few left, and we're even losing our our Vietnam veterans uh, to age. So uh, they're open, of course, to uh, Afghanistan and uh, Saudi Ra or uh, Desert Storm, and uh, those veterans, Iraqi veterans. Uh, we'd like to see them come down and join. Um, as it was when I was that age, uh, you have a family, you know, mm -hmm. and your first priority is your family. Uh, as time goes on, I think some of those fellows will start to join uh, and our numbers will grow again, I hope. Um, the Veterans Parade uh, will be coming up uh, November uh, 5th. That's the Saturday before Veterans Day. Mm -hmm. um, We'd like to encourage everybody to come out. Well, we're looking right now for people to participate in the parade. We have applications posted at the uh, American Legion Post 65, also at VFW Post 1108. You can pick up an application there. Uh, you can get one from me, uh, from my phone number or, or email. And uh, <clears throat> a few years ago, uh, we it was sponsored by the uh, Veterans Council of Wayne County. Uh, we have dissolved the Veterans Council of Wayne County. Every post and all the veterans organizations were doing their own thing pretty much and uh, the VVA assumed the responsibilities and Bob takes care of our ceremonies, our Memorial Day and 
uh, Veterans Day ceremonies. They also, uh, him and uh, his group and the Vet the Memorial Park Committee did a wonderful job oh, yes. on, with the wall. Yes. Uh, had a very nice week. Um, Bo 65 takes care of the Veterans Parade. The VFW has assumed the responsibility for the uh, uh, Avenue Flags, which you see prominently in town. Do a nice job of that. Uh, Marine Corps League does, uh, of course, uh, the Toys for Tots every year. So all of our veterans organizations in town are involved in things, and they will all be participating in, in the parade this year. Uh, we will form at 12th and Main Street at uh, 11 o'clock. Parade starts at 12, and we'll proceed from uh, 12th and Main down to the city building. So we need participants in that Absolutely. parade. We need people that will uh, sign on, if you will, and join that parade. We'd like for people to uh, commemorate or honor veterans or at least have a patriotic theme for mm -hmm. the parade. Our, uh, the Veterans uh, Day uh, Veterans Program is for living veterans. Memorial Day, we honor our fallen veterans. Sure. Uh, veterans Day is for living veterans, so we'd like to commemorate all of our veterans yeah, who are serving yeah. today, yeah. or have served. Have you decided uh, the, uh, at the park when you're going to do uh, the veterans thing at the park, the time and all that stuff, have you? It'll be on Veterans Day. It'll be November the 11th at 11 a.m. At 11 a.m. Yeah. Okay, so you'll be speaking at that and you'll be talking to veterans in right. basically Wayne County that show up and see all of that stuff. Yeah. So that's kind of a good time too. I like those little ceremonies and sometimes it seems to me over the course of years some of those things have grown just a little bit uh, at a time. Um, I was not able to attend the uh, Saturday uh, function at the Vietnam Wall, but uh, the word I was getting was just a record crowd was, and just was everybody awesome. was, was overwhelmed. We had a really good crowd. Uh, we were honored this year. We had a, a Medal of Honor winner mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. to speak, and that was that was really special for everybody. Yeah, yeah. And yeah was, that's really good. Mm -hmm. Everybody got to meet him. A lot of people got their pictures taken with him, so it was a, mm -hmm. it was a good Oh, wow. Time. Yeah, and well, we've been be blessed good. the last few years with really good weather for all these things. Yeah. You know. Especially the parade. You know, the parade, the last, because uh, I've been involved in it a couple of years now or whenever, and it seems like the weather's cooperated. Yeah, I think that one year was pretty windy, but it was not yeah. snowing or anything stupid like that. One of so. the first two years we had it, it was cold. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. We've never been rained out, knock on wood, I guess. And, uh, yeah, at uh, for the time of year, you know, we're getting into November, you could expect about anything. And, sure. Uh, we have been awfully lucky. And, uh, we don't have a rain date for the parade, mm -hmm. so uh, hopefully we'll have good weather again this year. Yeah. So I'm thinking now, if, if you've got an agency, and I'm speaking to the folks out there, you got an agency, organization, or whatever that would like to participate, uh, you can actually be a part of the parade and bring your banners or whatever and join in the fun. Right, so that's what we're looking for, people in the community to come on out and be a part of this parade. Absolutely. The other thing is, when we're talking about uh, uh, the uh, status of, of our membership and all that, with the VFW, can a family member of a veteran join the VFW? A family member of the veteran. If they're uh, related to the veteran, uh, the criteria that uh, the Sandy laid out, okay. they can be an auxiliary member, VFW okay. auxiliary. To be a member of the VFW, you, you have to have served right. in a conflict uh, on foreign soil. Okay. So. okay. Another little thing um, that I think is kind of unique uh, that's done is the visitation to the nursing homes. And could you speak to that just a little bit and tell us about that program? Well, I do that program. We've done it for five years. Once a month we visit the veterans in a nursing home. Usually take them a gift bag with several different items in them. Mm -hmm. We do that under the Legion writers. Mm -hmm. But the auxiliary at 1108 also does bingo at the nursing home, which my husband and I do that the third Monday of the month. And we have a big following for that. You know, that's, a, that's important, you know, that, that nursing home 
uh, thing. That's something that's, you know, you aren't paid much to do that, but uh, it's so rewarding on the yes. other side of it. And if you got the time to do that, uh, to me, I think that's one of the m most unique things about the clubs is uh, things like that, that that's done uh, that nobody really knows much about unless they're at the nursing home when people come through. And uh, the times I've been there, it's just been amazing to me, the uh, uh, elderly people that probably don't get many visits from many people. That's it right there. And uh, boy, they just, uh, uh, I know the last time I went, um, the one lady just didn't want anybody to leave. She wanted everybody to stay. And I thought that was kind of neat that uh, something like that would happen. But, you know, our veterans, uh, when they're in the nursing home, sometimes they get shut out. Um, and we don't really pay them a visit. That's, some, that's a small thing that we seem to really pass on a little bit. But we really need to ramp that up just a little bit because maybe sooner or later we'll all be there. And we'll all want to visit. From, I mean, realistically, I mean, you know, none of us are young anymore except me. No, no, <laughs> no kidding. I can say that. Most of them have interesting stories and they're willing to sit there and oh, yeah. tell you stories yeah. as long as you'll listen. Yeah. 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 But the bingo, we they call it the veterans bingo and we have non-veterans play also. But they just look forward to that. Mm. That is really neat. Mm. So. so how many new members, Sandy, do you think uh, the auxiliary has had since in the last, last year? Since last year, since we opened it to mm -hmm. the men and women both, we've probably increased by at least 40 or 50 members. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that's huge. I had no idea. Yeah. That is good. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, and if the younger ones, are they, the younger ones, are they? Some, and, and all of them haven't been men. We've had women also sure. mm -hmm. join within this last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we've got a good group and uh, they're getting more involved in our projects and such. Mm -hmm. So who's getting so. the information out to them? Is it the, the veteran or just another member of the auxiliary? An, another member of the auxiliary or if a veteran joins the VFW, then we approach them. Are you, you know, do you have any family members that could join the auxiliary? So it's more just word of mouth kind of thing. Right, right, right. right. But How many v Vietnam veterans do we have in Wayne County now? Mm -hmm. Do you know? No, I don't. Um, we have about 100 members in, in the chapter. In the chapter. But right. I have no idea how many. I've run into a couple of guys, and uh, they were Vietnam guys, and I've asked them to come down and join. They don't have to really live in Richmond. Yeah. I mean, they can be in Ohio or whatever. Oh, I live they? in Ohio and I've yeah. been living away. Sure, <laughs> right. Yeah, I mean, yeah. but they can, they should feel welcome. I mean, I told yeah. them that, because a lot of them didn't seem to think they had a chapter or, or knew where a chapter was at. Um, so I wrote down the address yeah. and told them to call. Yeah. I would say there are probably a lot. I mean, everybody I went to school with, it seemed like, went to Vietnam. Mm -hmm. um, a few didn't. But <laughs> the vast majority of us did. Yeah. So, and you got to remember that's when the draft was going on. Mm -hmm. So, a lot of guys got picked up that way. Yeah. What's your memorial sure. committee going to do next? Do you think? Now that the Vietnam Wall is over, you're going to come up with another monument? Do you think? Or? Well, it seems like they come up with one about every two years. Do we have any room yeah. to put um, anything yeah. else? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm a proponent. Uh, the uh, A6 that's down at the municipal airport uh, was in a Marine squadron in Vietnam, and Robert Kuhlman was in that squadron. Robert Kuhlman's a gentleman that we lost in Vietnam. They named the Kuhlman Center after him. Um, he had to fly in that aircraft. They don't, have the, they don't have that squadron's insignia painted on that, and there's a couple of us that have been kind of working with that, but I don't think I don't know what's going to happen with it. Uh, mm -hmm. We obviously wouldn't want to move it down to the park because it, it probably belongs at the airport. But, uh, and I, right now everybody's just kind of sitting back and getting over uh, <laughs> having the wall in. Yeah. That, that's, a, that's a huge undertaking. Yeah. Joe Goble and, and his wife Barbara, they yeah. just they almost yeah. work themselves to yeah. a point of exhaustion on that. So. And that's a, that's a, while we're on that subject, I think it's, we need to probably bring up that uh, Veterans Park, 
Um, I don't know, it, does it have an exact address of where it's at? We should invite people down. It's one of the best veterans parks <laughs> probably in the state. Oh, in best the state, look, yeah. yeah. In, in it, it's just really a good looking area and the city keeps that groomed up pretty good so yeah. it looks kind of nice all the time. Does it have an address? I think the yeah. address is 20 Johnson Street. 20 Johnson Street. either 20 Street. or 40 is that right? Johnson Street. If you look it up on uh, on uh, MapQuest you'll find it yeah. at that if address. If you go um, close to Wayne County Jail and if you get close to the jail, you'll surely just, see the signage up that just tells you, you how to bridge. get to the park. Yeah. yeah, just before you cross the bridge. And, uh, mm -hmm. For all of our people out there that have never been there, uh, I would invite you down there just any time of the day or anything. You'll, you'll find it's a quite uh, uh, quiet place. Uh, it's just a good place it's to just It's amazing. I tell you, it's amazing travels, quiet. man. Yeah. I, go to, uh, I go to a lot of places in, in my work and travel. And uh, usually, they're veterans park, if you will, is a little plot of land with a statue, you know, with someone standing there with a rifle on it. Mm -hmm. Nothing that compares to what we have here in, uh, in Richmond Wayne County. So That's true. As far as access, yeah. the uh, city yeah. just built a new road from Main Street right at the east end of the Main Street Bridge, mm -hmm. right by the yeah. uh, overpass. Yep. We'll send you right down to the That's right. Veterans Memorial Park. I think That's it's right. called Veterans Way. Uh, the new street, right. so that's your best best access. There's a yeah. nice sign right there that tells you it's a yeah. Veterans Memorial Park. And I was thinking, it's a nice place. It'd be a nice place to have a family reunion. They have, you know, uh, we have now the have uh, restrooms. restrooms there. They have yeah, restrooms and they're pretty now. nifty restrooms. Yep. Okay, that's right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that <laughs> that <laughs> it only took a couple of years <laughs> to build them. So yeah. I think, but finally, uh, they have uh, a yeah. bathroom facility. And it is yeah. part of uh, Richmond Richmond Parks. Yeah, sure. And, uh, they do a nice job. Yeah, yeah. It is. as right. as do all the veterans. Yeah, uh, I hate to put a number on it, but probably eighty percent of the work that gets done down there is done for free by veterans. Sure. Yeah. So sure. there is a lot of volunteerism goes down there, but uh, right. um, they take uh, the the city parks take care of the mowing and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's the next project for the uh, BFW that you're going to work on? Uh, well, right now we're concentrating, uh, everybody, Legion Post 65, and, and everybody's concentrating on the parade. Sure. Uh, we will have uh, a countywide band, if you will, that uh, include Richmond and all the county, county schools. Uh, they're putting that together. Uh, all the veterans organizations, I'm sure, will have a, uh, a float or an entry in there. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, a lot of veterans that are putting their own vehicles and so forth in there. The Corvette Club will be in there. Uh, the Model T Club will be in there. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a lot of uh, military vehicles, both privately owned and the uh, Indiana National Guard will be in there. Um, the Army Reserve is going to be in it. They promised me this year that they will have a unit. Um, oh, good. And just. Uh, there's a uh, military club uh, over at uh, Centerville Elementary School, and uh, they have a <laughs> really nice entry every year with the with the little kids, fourth graders. And mm -hmm. They always participate. Um, we have a lot of a lot of entries, and uh, we're open to as many as we can get. And uh, that's Saturday, November 5th. Saturday, November 5th. Uh, like I said, we'll meet there at 11 o'clock to uh, line up the parade. It leaves promptly at 12 noon. Uh, we get a lot of participation from uh, the Indiana Guard Reserve will be there to uh, help the Richmond mm -hmm. Police Department. And Donnie Benedict, the traffic department, always does a wonderful job. Uh, they'll be taking care of all the traffic at the intersections. Um, Whitewater Valley Amateur Radio Club will be there to provide communications at all of those intersections. Um, sanitary department always comes out and provides us trash containers. Street department helps us out immensely with mm -hmm. all the barricades and they set them out beforehand and pick them up afterwards and that's Saturday, remember? So, yeah. <laughs> um, the, uh, Again, Richmond Police, Richmond Fire Department will be there probably with their sure. cross ladders and the American flag. And uh, We usually have quite a few. I think one year we had 110 probably at the yeah. parade. So it's, 
Yeah, it's, right? it's, yep. it's and the it's Richmond really uh, well Richmond Parks Department yeah. will place. Uh, I hope this year again the bleachers mm -hmm. at uh, Tenth and Main. We'll have a reviewing mm -hmm. stand there. Um, a plus signs always puts up uh, their bucket truck so we can film it from the air, and uh, everybody comes out and, and helps out immensely. We really appreciate that. So what we need right now is. Uh, Participants. We Does it cost? Do you, do you pay anything? No, no cost no. whatsoever. Okay. Um, they'll be uh, placed down at the city building to unload for the for the kids. You know, if you to pick them up down there. Um, I forgot what else I was going to say, but uh, yeah, right now we're looking for participants. Every everybody needs, and I'll be sending out emails and making phone calls to get all the mm -hmm. people that were there last year. I think we had uh, 68 actual entries last year, mm -hmm. but when you talk about an entry, you know, the Corvette Club had probably 10 cars there, the Model T Club mm -hmm. had a lot, so so people in the parade, there were hundreds, you know. Yeah. So. I'm thinking like church youth groups, and, you know, hey. Absolutely. Yeah. When do, um, when does VVA, Vietnam Veterans, when do, when do they meet? We meet on the uh, third uh, Thursday. Okay. Uh, we have a pitch in dinner at six o'clock. The meeting mm -hmm. starts at seven, yeah, and we meet in uh, in the back room at the post eleven oh eight BFW. Okay, uh, that pitching is good too. Right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'd like, we'd like to say that you know if there are any uh, <laughs> Vietnam veterans in Wayne County that has never been to a Vietnam veterans meeting, uh, we would invite you out to see that because that's uh, that's a good uh, bunch of guys. Good. You know, there's good. probably forty maybe, don't you think? Yeah, regularly. Yeah. Range from twenty to forty depending yeah, on what uh, the weather's like yeah. and what we're serving. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, they're also um, you're responsible for POW MIA uh, things. We have that at every meeting oh, that yeah. uh, Wally brings up. Wally Dudak usually yeah. does that. Yes. Yeah, that's a that's a big deal too. So. Right. And the VFW meets. Uh, the uh, first Monday, or I'm sorry, first Thursday. Okay. Uh, the place is really jumping down there on Thursdays. We have the VFW meeting the first Thursday, the auxiliary meetings the second Thursday, the VVA's the uh, third Thursday. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a lot of activity. Nice facility too. And, what uh, time are the meetings for ladies auxiliary? At seven o'clock, the second Thursday of the month. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Well, hey, uh, we're out of time. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> I certainly appreciate you guys coming, and, uh, you know, we'll do this periodically, kind of keep folks up to speed on what's going on in our various organizations. And, uh, folks, now you know what services are available out there for our veterans and their families, so uh, come on and be a part of it and uh, get involved with this parade. Come on and, and participate, all right? All Thank right. you very much. Thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye. Proudly We Served is made possible with the support of Premier Toyota of Richmond at 5601 National Road East, Richmond's authorized Toyota new car dealership, online at premiertoyotarichmond.com, and by First Bank Richmond, with eight locations serving Wayne County. First Bank Richmond and you, doing great things together.